All right, last video before my battery dies. Super, super quick. We are gonna do a bookshelf, both from the back and from the side view. Um, it's pretty simple from the side view to start. It's that same rectangle that sits on the ground. Oh, I just broke my pencil. So much for a really quick video. Tried to over sharpen it and it didn't work. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna go up. Now I'm gonna make mine like a nice big tall one. So it's actually gonna go above the vanishing or the horizon line. And then I connect it back to that. Just like we did with rectangles and squares in sixth grade. It's the same general steps. Ta-da. For all of these shelves, I can get rid of this horizon line here. And I can get rid of this floor line here. Okay. For this bottom shelf, you also need a horizon or a horizontal line going back. Okay? That's gonna be the base. This is the base of your bookshelf. Now any of your shelves, you can make it whatever kind of intervals you want. They radiate out from the vanishing point. So you'll notice how they get less and less steep. And then this one is actually coming down. These all go the other way. Um, same thing you did at the bottom, you're gonna do for each one of these shelves. You're gonna bring a line across. Bring a line across, bring a line across, bring a line across, bring a line across. For this one, you're actually gonna see underneath. This is a really tiny shelf. I don't know why it's super tiny like that, but it is. Um, if you wanted to put books and things on there, again, line to the vanishing point at the bottom as well. And then vertical lines, it's a book, ta-da. Um, if you can see, I don't, I'm trying to think, this guy connecting to the corner. So this would be the back. So we could go like this, this, and this, and this, this, and this. Okay. Um, so this is showing me like this is where the back wall of that would be. Um, Ta-da. So that's what your bookshelf would be from the side. On the back wall, it's even simpler. It's still just that um, it sits on the floor. So it has to be in this floor somewhere. Um, for all of the shelves, they're just horizontal lines. We'll actually use the horizon line. And then for any of these shelves, you're just gonna go and do all of those lines connecting the corners back to the vanishing point. Okay, and then here, oops, I forgot. That didn't go back far enough. Here, here. Here, here, okay. And then we have to have a second parallel line going this way across. I should be doing this with a ruler. And that's how you make the shelves on the back wall. Yay, I got it done before the battery died. Woo!